welcome or of course welcome back here to my channel my name is of course Bianca and thank you so much for deciding to take the next 20 minutes out of your busy day whether you're at the office now or whether you're at home just to release any stress any tension and focus on your mind body and soul with that all being said let's get straight into the workout just releasing any tension in your upper body by taking a few shoulder rolls and let's get started with our absolutely first and favorite exercise which is our side bend here dropping our head to the right shoulders we bend those knees and track those knees toes and hips in one line over each other and then moving over to our left side so just allow your head to feel heavy here and getting that stretch there into your neck and your shoulders exhale moving to your right side really important here is to track your knees as i said make sure they're not coming towards each other and getting that nice side bend there in towards your waist in towards your ribs maybe even towards your hips Moving one more time to each side, right side and then left side, breathing out and breathing into length and through your spine. And one more time, moving over to the left side, exhale to go down and inhale to come back up. Good. Moving into our second exercise, our standing spine twist. Take your left arm to your right hip as you look over your right shoulder. And then you want to take your right hand to your left hip as you look over your left shoulder. So just alternating the movement here from one side to the other side. Make sure you're taking your eye line with you here so the spine is not finishing at your neck as we often think it actually finishes in the middle of your cranium or your head. So you really want to take that eye line with you. <laughs> I have to say that. I really wanted to put that into this video today. Good. Let's do just three more here. Moving from your left to your right. You can obviously take your hips with you here. This is just our warm up for today's session. One more to your right. Breathing out. And then one more to your left. Well done. Release that right now. Just take your arms to the side. We're going to start with a stretch on the right side of our neck. As you drop your head to your left side, you're just going to take your arm or move your arm here up and down. So as you exhale, you drop your hand towards your hips. And as you inhale, you reach that arm out to the side, 90 degrees. Exhale, drop that hand down. Increase the stretch and feel the fascia as well opening out there on the, as I said, on the right side of your neck. And one more time moving down. And then feeling that length and that elongation as we change to our left side. We drop that left arm down with the exhale and as we inhale, we increase the stretch and we lift that arm back up. Exhale to drop and inhale to reach it up two more times on this left side. You should feel that nice stretch there. Release any tension, as I said. This is time out for you right now. One more time, moving down and moving out. Very good. Well done. Take your arms to the side and let's just take a nice circle there in one direction. So you just take 10 circles moving towards me. Four, three, two and a half two and one and then we're going to reverse those circles for nine eight seven six five four three two almost like you're flying one good we're just going to turn around you guys can stay where you are right now and we're just going to move into three sets of our pilates spine or pilates roll down once you hit your maximum stretch just bend your knees relax your head again just shaking your head left side right side and then we're going to roll up through the spine like a string of pearls here so really focus on the vertebra isolation right now the articulation of the spine vertebra for vertebra so not like a brett as we would say in germany not like a piece of wood or something really soft sanft ganz ganz geschmeidig so nice and soft yeah take your elbows and just start to walk through your knees left knee right knee almost like a walking the dog here Let's say we're walking through the knees, stretching out our hamstrings, stretching out our calf muscles, our Achilles. And again, really let your head drop here between your elbows, rolling through the spine. Hands on knees. One of my favorite exercises, our standing cat and cow. Exhale to contract your spine and really engage now your powerhouse. I love this. You really want to engage your pelvic floor as you contract your core. Center is pulling in. And as you inhale, draw your shoulders away from your ears, lengthen your neck and spine again. Exhale. This is all for your spine, guys, yeah? Let's continue for another four sets. You're going to exhale to contract and squeeze. Pull your sit bones forward. Inhale, expand and reach. Three more times. Exhale, curling down. No, 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 no. In, close your ribs. And inhale up. Good. Standing up. Well done. Just walking through your knees here to give your legs a little pedaling out. And we're moving into now our standing hamstring stretch taking that left foot forward there now you can take your hands down towards your knee towards your foot towards the floor lengthening through your lower back in this stretch if this is way too hard for you and you're not able to move into that now maybe you have a table next to you and you could just hold on to that or as i will show later on in this workout you can obviously come up with your upper body and place your hands onto your knees What's important is here is to keep that length through the lower back and to try as move, move as far down as is possible. This is a step-by-step -step process. 
Let's come up and change to our right side. Our right heel is pressing down. Flex your toes as much as you can and try to draw that head towards your knee, moving as far down as you are able to. Not as far as I'm able to. As I said, here is that option where I mentioned if you want to come up, you can take your hands onto your knees. That is fine. No curved backs. Long, lengthened, beautiful bodies. Good. And then you can just come back down. Let's just roll up through the spine one more time. And then slowly but surely twisting just for a few counts here. We're going to come slowly down onto our mat. Just taking one knee down and the second knee down. Good. Just moving forward now onto your elbows. So think of this as a child's pose. However, on the elbows, this is going to get more into our upper body. So if you haven't noticed, the warm up today is very solely or mostly except for the hamstring stretch we did focused on our upper body. So same thing goes here. Just going to take your weight again forward and back. As I said, you want to drop your chest down as far as is possible for you, depending on the amount of stress you're having right now, I don't know, in your life or in your job, whatever that may be, in your body in general. And then just take your hands into Tamaska behind your head and feel your elbows press down towards the floor as you stretch open your chest, your heart, your upper body. Good. Let's slowly but surely roll back and come up onto our full point kneeling. So engage your powerhouse from there. Threading the needle, we're going to take about six to seven here. You inhale to extend that left arm up. And as you exhale, you thread the needle through the right arm. Breathe in, open the chest and really feel that spinal twist. As you exhale, you drop that arm or that shoulder tip down towards the floor. As you breathe in, you again open the heart, the chest. And as you exhale, you draw that arm through. Good. A beautiful rotation for the body, for the entire spine. Good. This one can be quite challenging if you are quite tight there, of course, in the core. Work with me. Let's do this, guys. We've got it. Good. I believe this is our last one coming up. We're going to breathe in. And this time, once you come down to the floor, you're going to exhale and extend now, which would be your right arm above your head. So think of the arms pulling away from each other. Energy moving out through your fingertips and really expand the skin. I know that sounds strange. Think of your skin stretching out. Good. Remember, the skin is one of the biggest or the biggest organ of your body. Let's... Let's es wahrnehmung, wahrnehmung, to take it uh, with awareness here. Now we've moved onto the right side, so stay with me. We're going to breathe in. And as we exhale, we take that arm down onto the left shoulder and just bending and stretching that elbow there, which is the left side of the body. Inhale and exhale, dropping that right hand down. Let's just do two more there, breathing in. Keep the flow going, everybody. And exhale, last one is coming up. Breathe in. And once you take that right hand down onto the left shoulder, you are ready to go to extend that left arm out and just stay with me. Keep focusing on your breath, focus on your body and try as much as is possible. Considering this workout is quite short to relax. I hope that I can bring that into your life as well with these workouts, my voice. All right, let's take our hands forward and drop our chest down in between the knees. As you could see, just take your knees a little bit wider. Just close the eyes and stay here for about five breaths, four, three, two and then you're slowly going to roll up through your spine good let's come onto our sits bones from here take your hands onto your knees and just pulling up nice and tall extend your arms we are just going to roll back through our roll down just to come back onto our spine and grabbing onto your right knee from here just starting with a little circle of the toes so ankle circle well done just mobi mobilizing that ankle joint and then we're going to take that right knee across to the left side of our body. So you're just going to press with a lot of love and a lot of care that right knee down towards the left side of your mat. Just extending now the right arm out. So you're going to feel again that stretch there in the pectoral muscles, as well as the entirety of the body, in fact, from the knee to the hand. Good. Extending that right leg down towards the floor. Let's move straight up and onto our left leg, pulling that left knee into chest and circling those toes in one direction there, right or left, left or right, up or down, whatever feels good. And then we're going to take that left leg now across to the right side of our body. So again, just pulling that leg down with a lot of love, a lot of care and a lot of attention. Left arm out to side and relax your chest, open your shoulders and breathe. Good one. Well done. Just take both knees now into your chest and just circulate or circle your knees in one direction again of choice, moving at the same time and slowly getting ready to come into a sequence of toe taps here. So your knees are in a 90 degree position. Your arms are up to the sky. You're going to exhale and drop your toe down as you lift up into a chest lift. Now, 
If you don't want to lift your head up, that is totally fine. Just keep using your arms and dropping those toes down as I'm just going to show now. Exhale and inhale to come back up. Yeah? Shouldn't be too difficult. If you want to add those abs in, let's go for that. We're going to do about six more, so a set of ten. And then we're going to move a little bit faster. Of course, we need to do it. It is still Pilates. We still are using our center and our core. Active work as well as stretching out and releasing the tension. Let's go for another two. Exhale to come up. Inhale to come back down. And one more. Exhale up. Good. Moving faster this time. We're going to come back into our 90 degree. You're going to take your toes down. Just find the toe tap. So one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Adding in that chest lift. Go up and two and three, four, five. Pulling that knee towards chest. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Well done. Just allow your knees to drop open out to a schmetterling or butterfly position. Just giving those knees a little rock from side to side. And again, opening your chest as well as your hips. This should feel really nice right now in this position. Take one leg. So I've taken now my left leg over to my right leg. Again, just finding a double leg hip twist here and then opposite side, right to left. Well done. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. When you feel ready, slowly coming up. And let's just take our legs forward from there. We're going to take a little neck pull or neck stretch from here. So make sure your core is engaged. Still, you're going to take your hands behind your head. You're going to breathe in. I've created a little variation for us today. So something a little new. We're going to exhale to drop our head, neck, chest, shoulders, elbows down towards our knees. As you inhale, you take now your left hand to your right knee looking over your right shoulder breathe in to come back exhale pressing into that neck pull of the neck stretch to go down inhale up now your right hand goes to your left knee looking over your left shoulder good coming back to center lift up and then press your head against your hands to come down exhale and as you inhale you extend your left arm towards your right knee and look behind you over that right shoulder well done coming back to center let's do that again exhale going down feel the length and stretch right hand to left knee twist back to your center and on your last one you can hold it down relax and just extend your arms into a nice hamstring stretch just moving as far down now for both of your legs as feels comfortable great work let's turn and come now onto our stomachs moving into a sequence now of some sphinxes upward facing dog cobra many names many positions however i've decided decided to opt for a 90 degree position here for my arms just as you can see the exercise that we're doing i'm sure you know this one i've done it in a couple of my other workouts if this is of course not feeling great for you take the hands further forward if you would like to of course move your hands further back if you're able to do so like i'm showing right now absolutely fine you want to engage your sit bones and your glutes as you lift up and extend your chest and then articulate the movement as you roll back down. You may choose, for example, in the next couple to add in, as I'm just going to show now, a little twist of the head, left side, right side, or just moving up and down. You can look up, you can look forward, you can look down, you can look left, you can look right, whatever feels good for you. Adding in that little circle as I'm just showing here for our last one. Good, lengthening, for example, up. And then slowly release the position to come back down and just draw your toes together. Let's take our arms from there. Now we are going to move into a set of swimmings. Just give yourself a little break and make sure that you're relaxed before we start. Our arms are to the ceiling, our thumbs pressed to the sky, lift up and we're going to breathe. In two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, and in two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last three, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last two, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, done. Relax, give yourself a little break right now. Just take your feet wider than your hips and allow your hips to rock from side to side. Well done. Take your hands just under your shoulders and let's roll back into one more little child's pose just to release and relax. You can take your hands behind your hips right now and just drop your head to the earth. Good, slowly but surely relax your mind again, relax the thoughts. 
just breathe relax this should be really opening your lower back now which has got a little bit of a beating from the exercise we just did i'm not gonna lie the hundred breath on the swimming is not one of the easiest exercises in pilates so just know that you've done an amazing job and we're just going to continue now coming into some stretches release your upper back just looking up good and let's come onto our sit bones so just facing each other right now, we're just gonna take our left leg to the side, as you can see, extending our heel long, just taking that right leg into a little 45 degree position, taking that left hand to your toe and looking up to your right hand to feel that stretch there from your hip to your fingertips. If you can't come as far on towards your foot, that is totally fine. Moving as far as is possible for your body. This workout is for you, knowing right now that you've done an amazing job up until now and we're just coming into the last few minutes of today's class. So well done on getting this far through the workout. Good, let's come onto the other side. So you're gonna extend that right leg out towards the side. That left arm is gonna move up and over and looking towards your palm as you feel that stretch there from your rib to your hip, through the waist, through the shoulders, through the neck. If this is tension for the upper body, looking down towards the floor, that is absolutely and totally fine for me as long as it feels good for you. Good, and let's just extend our legs into, or I should say bring our legs into a little butterfly position. From there, you're just gonna take your left knee over to the right knee, just moving through butterfly to hip twist again, right side, left side, feel that stretch there. Again, in the sacrum, in the hip joints, in the lower back. And then you're just gonna take your hands forward, open your chest one last time, looking up, inhale. And as you exhale, drawing down into your butterfly, Badukonasana stretch where you drop your head towards your feet and you allow your knees to drop and your hips to open out. Just feel that stretch there as well. If you're able to move a little further forward, that is absolutely fine. Again, this whole workout and this whole idea of Pilates and yoga is to benefit you. Yeah, we wanna push ourselves. We wanna be gentle on ourselves at the same time. A little juxtaposition there. Let's continue to breathe, however, throughout this stretch for another four, three, two, and you can slowly come up with your next stretch. Just bring your knees together, extend your legs, shake out your thigh muscles, shake out the muscles and come into a nice cross-legged lotus position, whatever feels again well and right for you. Just closing your eyes and placing your hands here onto your knees. Feeling that length there through the spine. As I said, coming into the last few minutes of today's class, if you would like to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your solar plexus, just to connect to those two points, those two chakras, of course, your sacral chakra, root chakra, as well as your solar plexus or your heart center, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just staying here and closing the eyes and just finding a few deep breaths for yourself, breathing in through nose and breathing out through your mouth. Again, allow the mind and the thoughts that are in the mind to dissipate. Just focus on your body, focus on your breath in this given moment. And also giving a sense of gratitude for the work that you have done up until now. You really decided to come to this class today and take the time out to get to this point. Well done. Just a few more breaths there before we finish off for our session. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, release the hands. Take the head to the left side, right side. Good, just a little semicircle there before we finish for our session today. Good, looking up and looking down. Good, right side, left side. And then just bringing the hands up through your center line towards your heart, showing a sense of gratitude for being here. And as always, thank you so much as well to you for really being here and taking out this time today i'm so grateful and happy for that and of course i'm just going to take a small moment if you want to check out my website i do offer those online courses every single day my website is just going to come up right now and i would love if you did subscribe to this channel so i can keep producing amazing videos like this until next time bye